so I have to tell you about a conversation that I had with a friend at church the other day, and it made me realize this is a common prepping mistake that I hear a lot of preppers make. I mean, a lot. Like I would say probably 75 to 80% of the people that I know that prep make this mistake. It's huge. I was talking to a friend from church and she asked me some prepping questions and then she made the comment. She said, yeah, she said, my sister and I want to order from online bulk food ordering place to make sure that we get flour before the flour supply runs out. And I said, well, why are you ordering from them? And she said, well, because we want to get some in bulk before it's gone. I said, well, why don't you just go to Walmart and get it? She said, what? As we were talking, I realized this mistake is probably 70 to 80% of the people that I know who are getting a stockpile, getting a proper stockpile up and running. It's a mistake that almost all of them make. And that is where to buy the food that you're gonna stockpile at. And is it cheaper? So I'm gonna run through some numbers here real quick and then we're gonna talk about this a little bit more. So I went to six different places where people commonly buy food to stockpile. And I compared prices and sizes and I wanted to tell you the best way to stockpile flour specifically today. We're specifically targeting flour. So I went to online ordering place. They have number 10 cans. You can get three pounds of flour for $12.99. That is $4.30 a pound. I went to popular online ordering place, $10 for white flour. Now that is organic, but they didn't have any regular. So I am comparing organic to regular, which I know, don't send me a bunch of emails. I know that there's a difference, but I couldn't find apples for apple. I just went ahead with their organic white flour. It was 10 pounds for $10.94. I do not know if there is shipping on top of that. I think if I understand it correctly, they have drop-off sites maybe where they send everything for all those people in that area to order. So I don't know if shipping is on top of that or not. Winco, they had 10 pounds of flour for $3.96, which is 39 cents a pound. They had 25 pounds of flour for $10, which is 40 cents a pound. And then they had 50 pounds of flour for $30, which is 60 cents a pound. Walmart had five pounds of flour for $1.59, which is 31 cents a pound. And Aldi had five pounds of flour for $1.57 for five pounds, so 30 cent, basically 30 cents a pound. Now, what am I trying to say in this video? What I am trying to say is everyone assumes that buying in bulk is the way to save money when you're stockpiling. And I'm really sorry, but it is a huge, huge, huge waste of money to buy in bulk that way. I know I'm gonna just get all kinds of comments about this, but when I went online bulk food ordering place, was a dollar nine a pound for buying in bulk. Guys, that's super expensive when you compare it to Walmart or Aldi at 30 and 31 cents a pound. You can buy three times the amount of flour if you get it at Walmart instead of online bulk food ordering place. You can buy 14 times the amount of flour if you buy it at Walmart or Aldi instead of buying it in number 10 cans. Now, I understand people like buying the number 10 cans, they last 25 years, and that's fine. But the reality is, who really wants your food to last 10 or 25 years? I mean, I know the flavor is supposed to stay and all of that, you know, nutritional wise, but that's just crazy expensive. And I don't think by stocking up that way, it's really gonna help you that much in 10 or 20 years. You know, I mean, you've gotta think practically here. If there's no food on the planet in 10 or 20 years, you've got way bigger problems. And yeah, that might get you through a few days or weeks, but you would have to buy a lot of food. And that's super, super expensive. The other huge, huge mistake 
people make. This is like the biggest prepping mistake is buying the big 25 or 50 pounds of flour. They automatically assume that it's cheaper. They'll go to Costco, pick up a big bag of flour, 25 pounds, or at Winco, straight to the bulk section. The bulk, <laughs> this was, I, I just thought this was absolutely hilarious. The bulk section at Winco was 60 cents a pound for 50 pounds of flour. But if you went to the regular section at Winco, it was 39 and 40 cents a pound. <laughs> So guys, stop, please, please, please stop falling for the lie that buying in bulk is saving you money. It's not saving you money. You want to buy in smaller packages. I, I prefer five pound packages. 10 pound packages are fine, but I prefer five pound packages. Why? They are so much easier to handle. If you need to freeze them because you live in an area where bugs are bad, you can freeze them easily. They stack really neatly. You don't have flour poofing everywhere when you go to use them. I absolutely hate using the 25 and 50 pound bags of flowers. When that thing going around hit, I stocked up on a couple of them because that was all that was left on the shelves. But I would not buy that on a regular basis. They're hard to handle. Flour goes everywhere. It's a big old mess. Now, I know a lot of people like to put their flour in Mylar bags in these five gallon food preservation buckets with a gamma lid. If you're wondering what a gamma lid, it's a seal tight lid that goes on top of a five gallon bucket and then you can twist off the top to get your flour out but guys you still when you go to dip in there your flowers poofing everywhere still it's still a big mess not to mention the expense and cost of buying the bucket buying the lid buying the mylar bags it gets really expensive so my preferred way is to get five or 10 pound bags. They stack easily. They're easy to handle. You can use the flour quickly. You don't have to worry about where you're gonna store it, how you're gonna store it, the extra expense of buying buckets and special lids and special bags. Now, if you wanna buy Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers, that's fine, but you have to realize that's gonna make your cost go significantly higher. I have used flour up to a year, year and a half past the expiration date. So you can get anywhere from one to two years out of a bag of flour. So let's say you put it on your shelf, you've got about one to two years that you can use that flour. I think personally, the biggest prepping mistake and the costliest prepping mistake is buying food in bulk so if you're gonna make homemade bread, like the recipes in our Dining on a Dime cookbooks, volume one and volume two, we've got my great grandma's homemade bread that she made during the depression in volume one. We have our Amish bread in volume two that is super delicious also. If you're gonna make homemade bread, both of those recipes are super easy, tried and true, and they both use just regular everyday all purpose flour. We're focusing on flour today. If you need a list of pantry staples, you can get it free on our website in our Practical Stockpile Cookbook. It's totally free, but flour is at the top of the list for your stockpile basics in your pantry. This one tip that almost every prepper gives of buying in bulk, I think is one of the biggest wastes of money. I showed you the numbers, guys. Walmart and Aldi are the number one places to get your flour in bulk cheap, but you wanna buy it in five and 10 pound bags because it's much easier to handle. If you need more ideas on what you should be stockpiling to have your family prepared for any emergency, please go watch our video on 15 foods that never expire. Visit us at livingonadime.com and we will see you guys next time.